Hello again, in my last video I mentioned that I wanted to explain a little bit more about the uh, Turtle Synth format so this time I'll try to explain it and give you an example and so, show, show you what the data looks like in a Turtle format. Now, I remember you know I explained actually uh, some idea formats in my previous video. Now, the Turtle syntax, usually Turtle is a language used to serialize, i.e. represent triples or serialize triples to strings and the name Turtle is coming from terse RDF triple language <coughs> excuse me uh, usually uh, whenever we use UR URIs in turtle uh, files usually we place them inside angle brackets as you can see here place them in angle brackets uh, literals usually are used in quotes here we can just specify the language uh, DE I think German that's why not, nothing, not, nothing very special uh, and here for, for, for the value here, we, say, we just say it's actually a floating value as you can see here. Now usually triples, whenever we have a group of triples or a set of triples, they are usually separated by a dot, remember that, usually separated by a dot. And then white, white space line breaks are usually ignored as long as they are outside of identifiers. Uh, it's actually a recommendation of W3C as of uh, February 2013 as you can see here. And a simple example of an of a triple in a turtle for in turtle format is this. So we have this URI here, which is our um, subject now about the Leipzig city. So as you can see, it's a URI, and then a property. Again, another URI. It has a label, and then a value of Leipzig DE. As you can see, that's the that's the value, and that's the dot that ends the triple. So this is actually a triple. The subject is a URI, the predicate is a URI, and the value is a literal value. Of course, we can use prefixes to actually make this shorter, as we are going to see in the upcoming video. Now, we can actually have abbreviations in in, in Turtle. Again, I'm sorry, I'm, I did mention that I'm actually using. Again, I'm using Larissa Soldatova's uh, slides. Uh, so in Turtle, we can actually have we can actually have abbreviations, as you can see here. Uh, for the previous example here, for this um, uh, full URI, we can say, for example, um, f as you can see here, prefix dbr and then dbpedia resource. The syntax of prefixes is we use the at symbol, so at and then the word prefix, and then we give the prefix name, we give a colon, and then we give the URI that we want to be used uh, in, in, the, in, in the prefix or we want to use the prefix for and then we end it with a, a, a dot as you can see with a period as you can see so an example is I can say at prefix dbr colon so for dbpedia resources and then have my uh, uh, uri and end it with a dot so the previous example the, the example from the previous slide here I remember uri uri value we can use prefixes at the top of our turtle file of course uh, at prefix dbr colon and then we provide the uri dot at prefix idfs colon have the uri dot and then we can see we can say dbr colon leipzig so this is actually you can place you know this here as you can see and then idfs label and then the value is exactly the same hope that makes sense the idea is quite simple these are just shortcuts for maybe display purposes yes for human readability I believe uh, but I hope that the sense is quite simple and quite easy now we continue with the explanation of our of turtle format um, whenever we have properties for the same subject yes we can actually group them together we have multiple properties for the same subject we can group them together so for example if we have something re regarding the city of Leipzig um, and it has property mayor, his name or her name. It has um, RDFS label, a label that the, the city of the name, latitude, longitude, so so on and so forth. What we can do is instead of repeating the subject every time, yeah, instead of repeating the subject every time, we can actually. And remember, the end of a triple should be a dot, but we can, what we can do is we can use a semicolon and then only repeat or only put the new property and its value, semicolon, 
new property, its value, semicolon, and so on and so forth, until the end of that can be a dot to end data about the same subject. Hope that makes sense. So notice here, we've removed the subjects, but we have a semicolon between triples to, to indicate that the subject of these triples is the same as the subject, subject of the first triple, which is dbr colon Leipzig. So that's just a way of sort of abbreviating and grouping things together. Um, actually, even if we have triples that have the same subject and property, we can again group them together if we want. As you can see here, instead of actually grouping or removing the um, the subject only, we, if we have, for example, if we have, for example, um, multiple values, for example, for one property, so the property label of someone, for example, has a phone number, and he has several phone numbers, or has several emails, so we can say, certain individual, ha certain, a certain individual has email, email 1, has email, email 2, has email, email 3, again, we can actually uh, 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 merge that or group that together, and instead of repeating the has email property, we can use it only once with the same concept when it when we used it here. So what we can do here is, for example, um, so this city of Leipzig, for example, has property called um, located in. It can be Saxony and it can be Germany. So instead of saying saying located in located in Saxony semicolon located in Germany, what we do is we say located in and we give the first property. I'm sorry that we give the first give the first value, and then we use now a comma rather than a semicolon. We give the second value and so on and so forth. Remember, remember, even if the e for the email, if someone has several values of email, then we can say has email and then email one comma email two comma, and then we end it with a semicolon. And then now we're not repeating only the subject. Now th this is a new property or new predicate. Predicate we continue like uh, as we did in the previous uh, slide here when we learned about how to actually abbreviate that and then we end the triples with a dot or with a period or with uh, 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 this dot as you can see here. hope that makes sense. I, I know I, I talk very much but I'm just trying to explain things here and by the way some people say I speak very quickly and that's the point of the video because I speak quick because it's a video I speak quickly but you should have the ability to repeat the video if you don't understand things and uh, watch it again and again so you can understand things hopefully better. Thank you very much indeed for watching. In fact, let me actually show you a proper turtle file now and it's from our usual book, from this book that we are using to learn Sparkle uh, uh, and to learn about RDF and Semantic Web and the example is this file here. Uh, you can uh, on the website you can actually download these examples uh, these, from the, the, the data set examples and you can see here in this example data set uh, ex069.turtle.ttl so the form uh, the I'm sorry the extension of turtle files is TTL uh, we have two prefixes a b colon da 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 and notice it ends with a dot and d colon ends with a dot and then that's a comment by the way so the hash is a comment that will be ignored remember we said new lines you know space will be ignored and then now we have this uh, subject it has a property first name value Richard and we are using or he is using now the sort of abbrevi abbreviated version the grouped versions instead of repeating uh, um, the subject all the time here he just basically ignores it and uses the semicolon and then ends it with a dot as we learned earlier again here for another individual Cindy first name last name email uh, again, uh, if you remember, I said we can actually, um, if, if, if a certain individual has more than one email, then we can do it. What we can do is we can just provide that by using um, another email, let's say, by using the comma. But here now, uh, you have uh, information about courses, and you notice that because courses all have, you know, different names and different IDs so there's nothing here to maybe uh, abbreviate but here for uh, this data where who is taking which course or so which ID of here which uh, is taking which course from here we can notice that we have actually some repetition so this individual here is doing more than one course and this individual here is actually doing more than one course but he is not here using the shortcut format although we can actually use that and abbreviate that and say for example here 
um, semicolon and then remove that so it's actually the same subject and then maybe we can copy here it just needs to be sort of in a sequence after each other so we can do it so we can actually do that and this will be exactly the same there's nothing different here it's just a way of representing it I hope that makes sense thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time